everyone, Joe here from Action X. Welcome to What's on the Tube, or welcome back if this is your 16th season four episode review for The Rookie. We're back to the documentary. So it, it seems to be like a, a regular trope for The Rookie. Like, they always find some way every season to present the episode in kind of like this found footage viewpoint where it's like it's not really like the traditional, like, well, a traditional TV show. I say, I say this every time we, we do one of these. Uh, and honestly, once again, this was a really great episode. It served, this is the Aaron episode we needed. Not to say we haven't gotten Aaron episodes, but for me, they really split it up mostly. Like we were like getting the real build. This was definitely Aaron's episode where we finally got this. I think we finally, I understood it more as a character in a way that I, I really understood. And it is such differently because like, yeah, he is a new, he's the new guy for season four. He's the new, the new rook, the new entry point for the season. And so it was already difficult for me to get into him because again, we had to, we sadly lost, um, I don't know what's wrong with my mic. Um, oh, it's broken. I gotta, 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 gotta get that fix or whatever. Anyway, so it, it was, it was difficult for me to get through to that. And then this episode, um, I, I think they did an amazing job uh, presenting him as a character, giving every shades of him, getting way more of his backstory. I will admit that. It came in like, again, this is just my opinion of it. Uh, obviously, we've had episodes now with him, so it is a bit different for me to talk about. But, well, not difficult to talk about, but more like in the ways of like, uh, I did not view the, like, I think they did a good job pacing things, but like, I think I was just thinking of the mindset of like, oh, I thought they would just, you know, save big chunks of the story throughout the season. But again, this is the rookie where like things are, they do as they please. And normally I love it. I, I do love the way they, they did this episode. I do love the way they presented Aaron's story and, you know, and finally gave um, a bit of closure as we now move forward to what could be next for this character. And honestly, yeah, this mainly, there is no subplot A, no subplot B. There was, it was mainly, this is Aaron's episode. And I think this is one, one another great episode for season four. So far, a lot of great episodes in season four. So far, making really great decisions. And like I said before, uh, I think the last time we did like a decent chunk of, of rookie episodes, it seems like they're pacing these out of like, they're all connected, like kind of like mini, like story arcs, mini events. And then you get, you get one standalone episode. This seems like to be the thing for the rookie where last week's episode and this week's episode seem really connected as last week was a good amount of Aaron focus. This kind of felt like the natural second part to that story. Just, well, in this case, the majority of the story. And I really enjoyed it. I really, really did. So let's go for the butcher recap and talk about this week's episode of the rookie. So we begin the entire rookie cast, well, the entire ca the characters of the rookies back once again in documentary style, and they're already like I think this is just the same the, the same documentary crew they that shot with them last season with that one off mystery, and it, it was like everyone was like kind of like had very mixed reactions to be back again, uh, especially Chen who just loved the last time she was on like I got such praise for my role here like bro you're just talking and then Bradford's just like. Why do I sign up for this? I'm pretty sure this is optional. Like, I'm pretty sure this was optional and Chen just forced him to do this. Like, like the first time. I was just like... I, 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 at the end of the day, look, it, it, was, it was it was really, really fun. It really was. Just seeing... I think Chen and Bradford scenes throughout this, the, both documentary um, episodes were, like, my best. Because, like, uh, you got you got both sides of the coin. Like, one is very enthusiastic. The other one is just, like, not not giving one flying fuck about this. And just... You, you learn more about these characters when they're, in like, in, a, in like a very different setting let's say that um so the murder is about the so basically the entire document is being produced about the murder of the um aaron's producer for his reality show which i swear to god i honestly cannot believe they shot an entire opening song for aaron's like <clears throat> reality show pilot because apparently it never got properly picked up or it's not going to move forward. That's a mile spot. They're not going to do the show anymore. Uh, but the fucking title, which Harper has the best reaction. I am not saying the damn title. It's like every rose has a Thornton because his last name is Thornton. And I'm like, this is some shit MTV would do. And they still wouldn't pass. Like, if it ain't Jersey Shore, if it ain't uh, Florida, Bama Shore, whatever show, Team Mom 2. Uh, can we? I want to go on a brief tangent on Team Mom. So there is Team Mom, then Team Mom. I'm pretty sure I already did this already. I'm pretty sure, but I'm, like, I'm going to do it again because, like, I don't know. Like, it's been a while. There's Team Mom, there's Team Mom 2, there's Team Mom 3, but that was canceled. But Team Mom 2 is the main stuff. And then there's Team Mom now. 
um, Family Reunion or um, Reunion something. There's a bunch of spinoffs, and I'm just like, why do we have the need to do this? Just why? And TLC is also worse at that too. Like the whole 90 Days franchise, you know, it's like even in the pen, they had two pandemic produced spinoffs because they need the content. And I'm just thinking to myself. Who are the executives is produ improving these, and where is the audience for this? And uh, I, 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 look, if the Thor, if the rookie ever gets canceled, we need a Thornton spinoff. Uh, just one season, MTV, TLC, hell, ABC, producer yourself. You, 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 you make weird decisions sometimes. This could do it. Anyway, so they, they, so they were shooting the reality show. This was like a big moment in the pilot or the se or the season where um, Aaron would have reunited with his um, two of his college friends who were with him and his um, roommate Patrick, who he had the whole mis the miscommunicated on the murder thing back. You know when we were beginning to discover Aaron's character back in the beginning of season four. This would have been their first um, reunion per se. Um, I'm not sure if this is the same girl that was in an early episode of The Rookie of Season 4 where it was the whole, um, we're back together communication. I'm not sure if it's the same one. Again, it's been it's been a long year so far, even though it's only March and that was so long, end of 2021. So I'm like, I apologize if I, if I do forget if that was the same character. Uh, but regardless, I'm I, I, it could be the same character. I really don't know. So. Um, so they're back together. They were shooting this reunion scene, but it obviously it was heav heavily edited, heavily scripted. So they were shooting multiple takes of it. And so when one of the cameramans had to go uh, refill the battery pack on his camera, uh, he found he finds the body of the producer on the floor already dead, um, approximately about four hours before the discovery. So uh, obviously everything's on high alert. Aaron's living for deja vu since this is the second time he's been locked into a, uh, a crime scene with a murder. And obviously this is not going to sit well with any... Um, thing because of given his prior conviction, even though it was exonerated, it still was a prior conviction. So both sides start doing their protocols. The reality show tries to keep shooting the shell, but um, Lopez is like, nope, we're not doing this. This is investigation now. Shut it down. So it quickly became um, it, it quickly became just the we're doing the show. Um, now it's going to become like back to the documentary style where we're using the, the body cam footage to tell the story. They're interviewing all the members of the family, everyone who was on site. Um, so far, no clear uh, suspects yet until they start reviewing the hundreds and hundreds of hours they already shot for, for the show. And I'm just like, brah. Like, 200 hours? Like, again, I'm, I'm not surprised because I know reality shows, they film for a long time. And I, I, okay, I'm not shitting on reality shows. I know it is a job because they have to, they shoot hundreds of hours and they have to concise them into hour-long chunks for episodes on TV. I do get it does take a while. I'm not faulting on the career choice. I'm not. It's just that some of this is pretty stupid, the content. But, but again, like, you know, I, I'm not a reality show junkie. But, but besides Jersey Shore, that's, that's my only um, my only guilty pleasure. But other than that, like, everything else. Kind of, uh, moving on. So they, they start reviewing it, and they, they try to find some facts. We're also knowing some more interesting tidbits about the larger um, rookie world. So first, um, first in, in, an example of, so uh, Era's parents, it, one is a successful um, business tycoon. The other one is a former um, ra uh, famous rapper back in the 80s and 90s. Um, and apparently they're back even then, apparently no one's girlfriend was dance, was a, a background dancer in that, in the mu one of the music videos they shot. And it just kept adding like what last week jokes like, what can no one's girlfriend not do? And then even no one was surprised. She was what? I was like, this woman is by far the most busiest, most talented woman in the business. And I swear to God, Noah, if you break up with her for any bullshit, I will quit the show. I won't quit the show, but I'm just saying, like, you know, you, you, bet, you better not do anything stupid, Noah. You better not. Um, so, continuing with that. So, um, they were just painting the picture that maybe Aaron's dad was a potential suspect since um, Aaron's dad was part of a, a rapper duo and he and his, um, his, um, the second half of the duo, um, they had constantly arguments and stuff like that. So people just naturally assumed that, oh, he was a suspect in the murder. Like he finally had enough of him and killed him. Uh, but then they eventually got out that, oh no, he was just sleeping with, uh, someone else's wife. And then the husband found that and he killed him for revenge. And it's like, Jesus, jealousy could just do many, many things. And it also didn't help that some of the reality show footage claimed to showcase that, um, the Aaron's mom and the producer were having a fling that they were having like some sort of like hookup or something, but no, it, it, all of this was scripted. It was like, Jesus Christ. They just, you never really know what the reality show business, what's real or not. You never really know. Um, so yeah, that was, that, that was, um, that was something else. Um, so once they cleared that, they were trying to just figure out the weeds, like who could have done this? And sadly they had to briefly 
look at Eris as this was his parents' house. He, I don't think he lives there, but like he's part of the house, so like he he has to be there. So they do have to look at him as a sub, as a as a subject. Um, I want to say what happened like the next and. Uh, I know there was a scene where like we 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 sadly only had one scene with Gray this week where he's just like reacting to some very cringy part of the of the actual reality show. I don't know if it was the theme song or anything. And they were still painting more stuff. So like the the uh, Patrick's dad from last week, played by that actor. I'm pretty sure I recognize him from somewhere, but I just don't remember. Uh, he was he was um, a suspect, but. He was so gung ho that it was Aaron who 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 killed him, so he didn't really have a motive to kill the producer. Um, yeah, this episode was really like it felt like a reality show at times because like of the craziness of the Thornton family. Because you have Aaron who was the, who was like the rich kid who had done tons of Instagram and you know uh, Twitter videos like when he was like really the popular kid, like doing a, a ton of crazy stuff with Patrick, like throwing these crazy parties. And, you know, that sort of, and, you know, we start to get the origin story to how he got to Paris was, was when he was in college, he wasn't doing so well. And he was like, kind of still very much like a party rich kid. Uh, they try to send him to Paris international abroad to try and maybe snap some reality to him, maybe. But however, you still give the kid like an unlimited allowance and, and, a, and a private play. There's absolutely no way. He's go he's gonna really pay attention to the freaking uh to the schoolwork there. He he really isn't, especially when he had his two college friends that he made there. You know, especially that was like thrown out the window. Um, and then we eventually get like not really like a a, a beat to beat interpretation of what happened the night that uh, his friend died, but it was very much um the investigation around like I don't know if it was like a, a like a bash of the French police, but like they they basically was like yeah the French police basically did nothing. Like, they did not handle the case very well. They did not handle the crime scene very well. A lot of evidence got corrupted. And they just found Aaron's DNA on a kitchen knife that was a very commonly used item in the house for cooking. And they just rolled with it. So, it was like, damn. They they really did not try there, which is very unfortunate. Uh, which is how Eric got, uh, got sentenced in the first place. And then, eventually, he got the retrial and they got acquitted. Uh, that sort of thing. I, I think the only and then they re they released the reason why Aaron even had a retrial in the first place is because uh, I think his female friend's boyfriend, who was really jealous, um, it, it it created some doubt in the story. Let's say I think that's what they what we're picturing it. And since they were doubt on the story and on the, I, I, the 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 police's side of the of uh, the investigation, then they was enough to kind of reopen the trial to like some new for some new for another run. And that's how Aaron got released. And then you got the rest of the story of how he wanted to be a cop. He wanted to like he sued the LAPD to get into the, the academy. And then well, here we are now, um, doing this whole shtick. Um, so the big red gun, and I swear to God, they, I know in like most documentaries, they do like, here's the interview and here's the person. And then we have a flashback to the person doing the actual work and Nolan and Lopez got recast in like freaking, my, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I'm like, is that John? It's like, oh, is that the real Lopez? Like, no, these are the fake people. I'm like, this is hilarious. This really is. Like, I can't believe they did that. Like. They were really shitting on a reality show. They really were. And, and I love it. I love every moment of it. Um, so they discovered that one of the unaired pieces of footage, well, I guess one of the footages that were like, you know, not sent over to be edited, uh, was uh, the producer shooting a segment, like one of those interview segments, like kind of how I'm doing right now. And it, he was explaining that he found this major piece of evidence that like, it's going to break the whole case about Pilot. He knew who killed Patrick. And then all of a sudden, um, someone comes in the door uh, is walking in, the producer goes out, and then that's when the producer um, gets killed off screen. So they assume that the person is connected. Like, whoever killed Patrick killed the producer. So um, Lopez said it best, like, the two cases are connected. They gotta find the link. They gotta find some way to um, link this up. So I want to say from there, they begun, they begun looking for, and then they started painting Aaron's mom as a potential suspect since Aaron's mom was already in Paris the day that Patrick died, so, you know, just the presence alone, and, and then, you know, once they brought her in, and then Nolan made this entire, like, big case for her, like, yeah, you killed him, um, because you were, uh, you, you were, you had the feeling that he was corrupting Aaron, so you wanted to get him out of the way so you could bring Aaron back home, uh, and she was like, no, I was just there for an international booty call. Yeah, you're on another level when you're rich. You have a private plane, and you get to go to another country just for a booty call. That's the thing. It's 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 like I'm gonna make an episode about let you talk about this in the future. But it's like like if I was super rich and someone in the Philippines liked me, I was like, 
Bro, I could just get on my plane right now. I'll, I'll, I'll meet you in like an hour. Or I don't know. I don't know how. To, I'm, I can meet you in the, the next day, basically. Um, that sort of thing. It's like, bro, if you have that type of money, it's like, yeah, you can go anywhere. Like, t like Tinder's your world. Like the Tinder password, basically. Yeah, you can go wherever the hell you want. So <laughs> that that was pretty funny. Uh, but once Aaron finds out about this, he does not. He is not happy at all. Since you know his mom basically lied to court, saying that I was not in Paris. I was in L.A. No, you were not. You were in Paris fucking some dude all night. Uh, you cheated on your husband. And, and yeah, I'm pretty sure the husband cheated on her, considering the fact that yeah, he was a rapper on the road. I'm pretty sure that 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 happened at some point. Um, so his mom's not really in the best picture right now, and she tries to equate that look. If I had admitted that I was in Paris, it would have made your trial even harder. But Aaron's like, you still did a bad thing. Like you can't excuse that. You still did a bad thing. So um, that was really unfortunate for that. And you know, they, uh, sadly, Aaron does not have the best picture of his of, her, of his mother right now. Uh, but even after that, no one does admit that, yeah, we eventually did get a break in the case, uh, because when Lopez was interviewing the female best friend of Aaron, she revealed that, yeah, while we were together, you know, obviously when Patrick was alive, we would go traveling almost every week, well, every week to some exotic new location since we had Aaron's private jet, so we went everywhere. Uh, but however, one very crucial piece that I didn't even notice was, uh, when they were, um, checking up on Aaron's other best friend. Um, the, the guy who was just like, well, the other guy, that's not Patrick. Uh, he was never really the most, you know, luggage carried person in the world. So when they were showing these pictures of them going abroad, well, not abroad, more like around, around the country, they found that he had a lot of luggage and I was like, you don't need a lot of luggage for a weekend getaway. You really don't. So they were like figuring it out. And it's like, and she, and Lopez asked the question, like, was he into drugs? And he was like, she was like, yeah, she, he was alive for the party. Like, that's how the parties got started. And. And she was like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to see where this is going. I'm starting to see. Um, so yeah, he, he, yeah. So eventually the pieces connect. So, um, his, so this friend's parents was not financially doing well. They were in a lot of debt. Um, they were getting to the point where like they had to pull, um, him out of college, um, after the semester abroad because they just couldn't afford it anymore. Um, so he had to find some, some other way, some other way to make some revenue. So he decided to sell drugs internationally. And since Aaron's plane was a private jet, he they didn't have to go through the normal, um, customs. So he was kind of like literally had like a free pass to transport these drugs anywhere in the country. And all he had to do was tell Aaron, Hey, I heard of this party. And yeah, the, the parties did exist. These locations did in fact exist. But he had an ulterior motive, and so the assumption is Patrick found out about that. He was going to tell Aaron, he was going to let the police know, and then he couldn't risk going to jail, so he killed Patrick. And because of how the French fucked it up, you know, that's when Aaron got all the blame, and I guess he lived the next few years, you know, blame-free, like, with no one looking his way. Uh, which is really kind of unfortunate, which really is. And once Aaron found out the truth, and they were arresting him, like, bro, you deserve to go to jail, like, you really do. Like, man, I'm sorry. You, you, you are a very horrible human being. You, you threw your friend under the bus for money. That, that, that really sucks. Uh, so once that's taken care of, once that's figured out, um, they arrest him. Um, Aaron is, uh, uh officially, un uh, officially off the record, exonerated from the crime. And, you know, basically it's a, a real close chapter on the book. It, it really is for him because it's all like the, the entire case is over. Um, the reality show is canceled because the whole point of it was for Aaron to try and, get everyone to forget that he was um, framed as Patrick's murder to just him being himself again as this new person. But since Patrick's case has been solved properly this time, uh, there, so there was, um, there was really legitimately no reason for him to do the reality show anymore. Um, and even though, yeah, 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 he, he there was a close, and also I forgot to mention, there was like two things I forgot to mention before we wrap it up. Um, the French investigator, they were, they, I don't know how, they, I guess they interviewed the French investigator all the way in his base in France. I, I'm pretty sure they just shut this in Cali. And he was like, I don't speak, I don't speak great English. And they were just basically destroying the integrity of his investigation. And then uh, once they found out that um, the boyfriend of Aaron's friend, who was sort of involved in the, not really involved in the murder, but just like was an extremely jealous boyfriend was the, was the son of the prime minister. I guess the, the, he just asked him, listen, just forget about my son. Forget about any involvement he was in. Uh, just focus on this dude. I don't care about him. You know, that's sort of like, you know, parents looking out for the kid, not, not for anyone else. And so, uh, that was a pretty funny scene. And then Chen, like, basically trying to act like a, like a, a documentary, um, conclusion, like, like, you know, that ending monologue about how, like, you know, about, you know, how things would suddenly end. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I really, you gotta watch a uh, documentary to really understand it. And Bradford was just like, really? And also Chen was on a freaking Reddit form, form as a, as true crime solver. And it was like, I love this. I love the show so much. Uh, but yeah, but, but when the interviewer, like, basically said, like, well, this is over. Like, Aaron is done. He can full 
officially move on from this. No one said it best. And I think this once again proves another, like, even though that this was Aaron's episode, this episode also, like, that closing line definitely defined Nolan as a character where um, he's like, you don't, you don't really, you don't really move on from it. Like, you know, you, no one has experienced a lot of loss in the last three and a half seasons. And also he's, you know, he can't, you can't really forget about them. You can't, all you can do now is just remember the memories you have of them and just keep going. And, you know, make the best of it. And even Aaron like, has a connection to that to that message where, like, what is next for him? Like, you know, does he stay as a police officer since, you know, now that this, not everything's fixed? I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's going to stay on. Like, he's going to stay on as a police officer. Um, but he does say, like, he's going to live right now. He's finally going to live. He's not going to just try to fix his personality. He's not going to try to fix his reputation. He's not going to try to fix, fix, fix. He's going to live. He's going to do what he wants because he's not held down anymore by this false accusation. He's now free to do whatever he wants. And that's great. He's going to not only live for himself, but he's going to live for Patrick. And that was a really strong line. And I am officially sold on Aaron as a character after all these episodes. Like, I always I always liked Aaron, but, like, I, like over throughout the re recent season, the re I think it was just, like, the nature of, like, we, we were getting so many subplots, and I don't think there was ever um, a beat for him that I, that I liked, so to speak. I never really... Because uh, again, like you know, the way they they got rid of uh, not got rid of West is really harsh. I mean, when when West w had to g went went sadly, and they slided in Aaron as the new rook as our new character, uh, it, it was just like you, you you didn't really get like a pattern with him. Like you know, you would you would be there, he would have a moment because he's new. Like you really connected with him, but then you he would be gone for a couple weeks, so it was really hard like consistently get a flow with him. And he is a series regular, so I was like kind of concerned about that. Um, so now with this episode, getting a full Aaron episode from start to finish, uh, it definitely makes me more satisfied with him as a character. Um, and, you know, having him conclude his initial part of his journey with this episode was great. It was great to have some closure. And now we can finally see an Aaron that's able to fully develop and fully mature now that everything's gone, now that everything's like behind him. And that's what I'm excited about going forward. Um, for him as a character. And I can't wait to see what they're going to do with him. I really can't wait what the next chapter of his journey is going to be. I really can't wait. Uh, so, but yeah. With that being said, that was the, the end of another episode of The Rookie. And it was it was great. It was amazing. I loved it. I really, really did. Uh, I love the documentary style episodes. I really do. It was, it's always so funny to get, to get to see the characters in a very different setting that isn't your traditional, like, set up block, set up camera shots, so to speak. It was great to see that. Um... I, 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 at moments I did cringe at Chen because of her like true crime obsession. I did cringe a lot. I definitely felt like a Bradford there. I really, really did. Um, but, and also, yeah, I forgot to mention Lopez and, um, Wesley had their own like, you know, camera interview moments at their house. And it's like, it just proves that like, they're such a great couple. Like they're always bickering. They're like very polar opposites, but they just work together. They really, really do. I, I, I just can't explain it. It's something that you have to experience to understand in a sense if you get what i if you get what i mean um but yeah i this is another great episode another one for the books and i uh, can't can't wait to see what they'll do next time with the next documentary episode if we get one but we'll see how that goes uh, i'm giving this episode two thumbs up i love it so much please let me know in the comments below what did you think of this week's episode of the rookie i'm always down for conversation down below and i believe it's going to do it for me today everyone so if you're unaware this has been what's the tube from action x reviewing every episode in the fourth season of the rookie if you want to know what we're doing normally at what's the tube besides our uh, rookie reviews we're currently doing walker reviews each and every week after a brand new episode on the cw so go check them out if you want to uh if you only care about the rookie however uh we have to wait three weeks for the next episode um because uh, we're on the, another break we'll be back in april with um hopefully i think the final stretch of episodes if we're kind of seeming like we're in a traditional television broadcast here again so i believe we're heading into the home stretch i'm not entirely sure you know i know we have the two-parter backdoor pilot soon for the rookie i don't it's not the next episode i think it's the next one after that i'm not sure don't quote me it's been a very um diff, re, um it's been a couple weird seasons for the rookie so i think we're gonna after we come back in april i think we're gonna go for a home stretch to the finale uh but we'll see how that goes um but yeah so until then we're we're off the air again for a couple weeks a few weeks so uh, again there's a lot a lot we're due on what's the two besides you know with quick impressions first impressions um season by season reviews so go check them out while we're off the air um so but again if you're just a rookie fan i'll see you i'll see you in a few weeks i can't wait to keep going with the season and yeah so with that being said again this has been what's the two from action please subscribe to us on youtube.com slash action videos ring that bell for notification when our next episode review is live please also 
Um, like, favor, share this review if you want to. Helps us get gets us out there to other people of the Rookie Nation. And follow us on social media to stay up to date with any sort of updates we may have for the channel. Um, but until then, until we see you again again in a few weeks, Rookie Nation, I'll see you then. But until then, stay safe out there, be good to each other, and as always, peace out.